गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो डिस्पर्शन मींस द स्टेट ऑफ गेटिंग स्प्रेड और डिस्पर्स्ड सो इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स डिस्पर्शन इज द एक्सटेंट टू व्हिच a numerical data is likely to vary around an average value the measures of dispersion shows how scattered the numerical data is therefore it can be stated that the measures of dispersion determines how much homogeneous or heterogeneous the data is so it helps us to interpret the variability of data let's talk about types of measures of dispersion so there are four main types of measures of dispersion so the first one is the mean deviation second is variance third is standard deviation and then fourth is range and interquartile range so let's talk about them one by one so first talk about mean deviation now mean deviation is the measure of dispersion which determines the average deviation of values from the mean in a sample so let's say the example here so here find out the mean deviation of following data set so we have this data set now how can we solve it so from this data set first we will find the mean now we know how to find mean so we have this data set now we will add all these values and we will divide the all total value by total number that means we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total 7 7 values we have so the mean is 4 here now we have written the values here so the deviation from the mean now we will calculate so the mean is 4 in each case and then we will calculate the deviation so 4 minus the exact value that is present in the data set so we will get this values now how can we find the mean deviation of the data set so we will add these values now here we can ignore these minus sign so we will add these values now so 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 again i am saying that we have to ignore the minus sign here and then we will divide the all total value that is 12 by total number of values that is 7 here so the answer is 1.7 so this is very simple to calculate mean deviation right so in this way we can calculate mean deviation now let's talk about variance so variance is the measure of dispersion which determines the degree of spread in the data set so in other words we can say variance is the degree of variability so more the data spread larger is the variance to the mean so let's say the example so find out the variance of following data set so we have this data set now the formula to find out variance is this where sigma square is equal to summation of x minus mu whole square divided by capital n so here sigma square is the variance that we need to find out and x is the individual data of the data set and mu is the mean of all the data in the data set 
and capital N is the total number of values in the data set. So step one is to calculate the mean of the data set. So we have the above data set so we can calculate the mean now. So we will add all of these values and we will divide the total number by total number of values that means 10 here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in this way we will get the mean of the data set that is 8.8. .8. Now step 2 is to subtract the mean value from individual value. So mean value is 8.8. .8. So in all cases we will subtract this mean value from the values that are present in the data set like this. So we will get these values here like that. And the step 3 is we will square the above values like this. So when we do this we will get these values. And the step 4 is we will add these above values. So if we add these above values, we get the total number that is 73.6. And next step 5 is divide the above value that is 73.6, right? So divide the above value by the total number of values in the data set. So that we have found total number of values is 10. So now we will get 7.36. So 7.36 is the answer. This is the variance. So in this way we can calculate variance. Now let's talk about standard deviation. So standard deviation is the measure of dispersion which determines the amount of variation in the data set. The standard deviation of a data set is the square root of variance. So this is very easy to calculate. If you know what is the variance, then just make it square root, you will get standard deviation. So this is the same example I am using here. So find out standard deviation of the following data set. And this data set is actually common that we have used in the previous case. So here also we have the same data set. So here we have calculated the variance and the variance is 7.36. Now what we will do? So standard deviation is square root of variance. So we have variance 7.36. So square root of 7.36 is equal to 2.71. So 2.71 is the standard deviation. So this is also very easy to calculate. Next. Let's talk about range and interquartile range. So range is the difference between the highest and lowest values of a data set. Example, find out the range of following data set. So we have these data set. Now how can we find the range? So here the lowest value of the data set is 2 and the highest value of the data set is 8. So range is 8 minus 2 that is 6. So this is the range. Now let's talk about quartiles or interquartile range. So actually the quartiles divide a data set into quarters. Now the first quartile or Q1. So it is the middle number between the median and the smallest number and the second quartile or Q2 is the median of the data set. The third quartile or Q3 is the middle number between median and the largest number of the data set and the quartile deviation is actually this. So the quartile deviation is half of the distance between the third and first quartile. So quartile deviation is the 
half of the distance between third and first quartile so we have the formula quartile deviation is this now from here we will find out the quartile deviation of following data set so here we have the data set now step 1 is arrange the data in ascending order so we are arranging this data in the ascending order and we are getting this now step 2 is find out the second quartile first that is second quartile mean that is the median so here this 5 is the median because above 5 we have 1 2 3 4 5 values and below 5 also we have 1 2 3 4 5 values so 5 is the middle number that is median right now step 3 is find out the first quartile that is q1 so first quartile or q1 is the value that is present between the lowest number that is 1 and between these 5 so here it is 3 so 3 is the first quartile and then find out the third quartile q3 so we can find third quartile that is present between this highest number that is 9 and this number that is 6 so this is 7 7 is the third quartile now step 5 is find out quartile deviation so we have the formula half into q3 that is 7 minus q1 that is 3 so 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 half into 4 is equal to 2 so in this way we can calculate quartile deviation